Welcome, Anime Screamer. Welcome, Anime Screamers. The channel to the channel for all things ho anime, hor horror, and beyond. Here we explore the world of anime through what ifs, predictions, reactions, and top tens. Wherever you're a diehard anime fan or just get started, you find fa something to love on your channel. So sit back and relax and join uh, us to on this journey into the the unknown. Don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you won't miss an you will never miss another video. Let's scream on to the next to this video. Um, for this, I'm actually going to do my review on Night of the Creeps. Night of the Creeps, released in 1998, a, a science fiction horror comedy, a film and written directed by Fred Drecker. He's actually uh, responsible for the Monster Squad. Ha story ideals for House, which is a comedy horror. R Robocop. Ricochet. And the 2018, and he also wrote Predator, the 2018 Predator, and he also wrote, co-wrote uh, the, the segment, The Thing uh, from the Grave, uh, of one of the four directors for, from Tales of, from the Hood, from the Crypt. And the directorial debut of Jason, but uh, story Jason Lively Jill, Jason R Lively, a uh, uh, act American actor that best known for European Vacation and Ghost Chase, which is another horror comedy. He's actually mostly re retired since the 90s. <laughs> he did Brainstorm, which is a science fiction. Ghost Chase, Rock and Roll, eh. But he actually uh, did uh, Western. He did... His last roles were 2017, and his choice, and Jill Whitmore, she in the Atchafield Thunder run, a small role in Porky's, The Mask, Weird Science, TJ Hooker's call... And also, the horror film, uh, Hollywood Monster, Twice Dead. Nita and Tidy. And Freddy's Nightmares and Swamp Thing and Naked uh, Cannibal Campers. And Tom Atkins. <laughs> Which, uh, he, he been, he actually is, work with, uh, writers and directors like Shayna Breaker, William, uh, Peter Batty, <sighs> 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 
William Bob P Peter Bately, who actually did The Exorcist, John Carpenter, the master of horror. I mean, vampires, ghosts of Mars, the ward. <sighs> Halloween, the fog, the thing, big trouble in little China, the prince of darkness. Richard, Richard Donner. Stephen King. Stephen King is actually surprisingly the freaking master of horror. He's actually uh, acted and directed. He never directed, but he did act. He act and produce. He only directed the Maximum Overdrive. And, and George Romero. The master of freaking horror himself. Of Creep Show, Monkey Shine, Half Bruiser, Night Rider, Morton, The Crazies, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Night of the Living Dead. And Feature of the Rockefeller. And Lieutenant Alex, that is featured in the Rockefeller Files. <laughs> he actually featured in the Rockefeller Files. He actually uh, featured in the Fog, Season of the Witch, and uh, a lot of uh, films. He also is in Promise. Prometheus, the Prometheus Trick, Final Summer, and the Collected. It only made five hundred nine hundred. <sighs> the official sequel is Night of the Creeps uh, to Zombie Town, which is in German. And it got us every free on Rotten Tomatoes. And it's a B movie. And all the cast is actually. To tell you the truth, uh, um, the the movie is basically these slugs. Uh, these uh, alien slugs infect people and turn them into zombies. <laughs> and honestly, it just. It's uh, about college student and his best friend, still a cadaver from a cl 
Quiet Jag rat Lab at a uh, local fraternity. The corpse be is an undead body from the late 1950s. It is under control of the extra organization that fed people and turned them into zombies. Okay, let's begin the movie. In 1959, an alien, a spacecraft, craft, two alien race uh, to uh, keep uh, the experiment from uh, being released uh, by a uh, third uh, member of the crew. Seemingly possess uh, a third alien that uh, shoot a canister into space where it crash to Earth where a nearby college man uh, takes his date to a uh, parking lot when the uh, path of uh, a and uh, Escape a crim criminally insane uh, mental patient ha as uh, ha as his date uh, is attacked by the ex Willamania, the boy that buying his canister from the small slugs like things jump out and into his mouth. It been 27 years. Chris Romano pines for lo love loss, supported by his disabled friend <laughs> J.C. Hooper during a pledge week at uh, Corman University. Chris spot a girl, Sophia Cronenberg. Oh, Romano and Cronenberg. Hooper? <laughs> oh! I got it. <laughs> Sophia's boyfriend, who heads up with Beta Epson fraternity, Tass was still in the cadaver from the medical center and deposited it on the rival fraternity. Chris S. C. J. J. C. find the cadaver frozen corpse in the secret room, but when it uh, grab them, they free and the fog corpse then killed the medical student working the lab. Honestly, it actually uh is funny because Chris Romero, J.C. Hooper, and Sophia Cronenberg is actually based on the horror, the horror movie directors. That's actually a good work, director. The director just turn <sighs> detective Ray Cameron a hot dig cop is called because the well the lab got that uh, break it in so he actually had to uh, 
and discover the bodies the boy who discovered an alien experiment in 1959 is now missing, set free by Chris and JC. Yeah, and they went to the sorority house where he uh, pick up uh, his date uh, 27 years ago. His head uh, split open and release more slugs. Called to the scene, Cameron finds uh, the body uh, it had uh, the condition of the head, the result of the axe in the wound. Honestly, the fraternity brothers in the next day just confronted Chris and CJ, who it, they believed that they were responsible for the previous night incident. They are then uh, questioned by the police. Based on the testimony of the gender who witnessed them running out of the University Medical Center screaming like banshees, they confess a break in. in, in but denying the corpse was moving, that uh, night uh, the dead uh, miracle student rise from uh, his slab and run into the janitor. Sophia attempted to confess Chris and CJ that uh, the attacks are zombies related but they are skeptical when CJ see that Sophia lean, leaning on Chris's shoulder JC leave the two alone and is attacked by the slug emerge from the possessed gender after Chris walks Sophia back to the sorority house, he runs into Cameron, who overheard their conversation at his house. Explain, uh, Cameron explains to his, Chris that the uh, escape route victim was his ex-girlfriend. And he secretly hunt down uh, the killed axe mur er in revenge after Cameron revealed that uh, he buried the body in what that is now a sorry house that he called the same axe uh, wheel the lunatic has killed the house lover. Cameron blow off the corpse head with his shotgun and release more slugs. Honestly, I did uh, call JC CJ I'm sorry. It's actually JC I am sorry. Everybody prepared for the dance and JC uh, say that the slugs are in his brain and he wish a uh, recruit Cameron who uh, was a miss uh, a of a unlivened attempt and uh, retrieve a flamethrower from the armor police armory. They uh, arrive at the slurry house just as Sylvia breaks up with Brad, who uh, was become possessed after killing him. The Bay of Fraternity brothers 
are shown up uh, desperate to have it being killed in a bus crash. Sophia and uh, Chris team up uh, to destroy the outside zombies while Cameron uh, cleared the house. Honestly, after the they stopped the horde, Chris uh, spot more slugs racing down towards the basement. Cynthia explained that members of the sorority had received a, spe a specimen brain for biology in the basement. They had find an big uh, enormous pile of slugs and Cameron that uh, tape across his uh, mouth uh, prepping uh, a can of gasoline and detective uh, Begin to count it down and splash the gasoline. And Chris counts up the sinks. And well, uh, it just blow up the house. And several slugs leap at him, and uh, it go up and blow. And there is actually two endings. The theatrical release in this version, the dog uh, who who caused uh, the bus accident returns and approaches Sophia as Sophia bends down uh, towards it. The dog opens the mouth and slugs towards her. And... The original ending. The show that Chris and Sophia stay in front of the house. And uh, the uh, camera move uh, to the street where the police cars uh, face towards the burning house. And the char and zombified Cameron who is stuffed down the... Uh, Street uh, still smoking a cigarette when he suddenly fell down to the ground. His head burst open and with slugs uh, that incubate uh, his inside his brain, skipper out uh, and Sliver towards the cemetery suggests the slugs will have a new host uh, inhabit. Search uh, lights appear the sky and reveal that the source to be the uh, spaceship from the beginning of the film with the attendant the attendant to reveal the uh, experiment. <laughs> Honestly, it got some good practical effects and I kind of like it. And all in all, Night of the Creeps well, released in 1986. And it got two endings. Which one? I actually did like the first ending. Because the dog who caused the bus accident returns and approaches Sophia as it bed down and... And, guys, guess what?
I got some rewards. The the great the great the great acts for coolest death will go to detective Cameron honestly detective Cameron has Honestly, uh, Detective Cameron does. Detective Cameron ha. Honestly, uh, the uh, the great acts for coolest for the coolest death is Detective Cameron. He go out in a blaze of glory, and he uh, come out zombified at the end. Is glorious, and the zombie makeup is such a glorious sight. And the whippy axe for the 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 worst death. Well. <laughs> yeah, the wimpy axe for the worst death will have to go to the medical student. Honestly, he he just got killed off screen and got revived. And I will uh, go back to my other videos and talk about the greatest deaths. Um, I don't know the greatest deaths in the the freaking. So I'm going to start start uh, now. So thanks for watching the M. AMA Scream 1798. I, I, we hope you enjoy our content and uh, had a great time exploring the world of anime, horror, what ifs, predictions, reactions, and top tens with us. If you uh, like what you saw don't forget to hit the like button share our videos with a friend and if you have already make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video uh, we will see you next time so like I say am a screamers scream scream for anime TV shows movies pop culture and whatever you call I I want, I also want to thank my, uh, my number one subscriber for liking my video, Nara the Atheist. Thank you, man. You've been a terrific guy. Just let me know what horror movie that that you want me uh, to check out that 
you've been uh, subscribing to me for so if you if you real if you actually do want do, do the recommend a top 10 list you can do whatever because you are a great guy you're amazing man And and also thank you for telling me I mess up my if my microphone is mess it mess up on some days uh, so if they pull just didn't work so. I don't know what happened, so I just gonna skip it. They pull. Um, uh, next will be my horror miss, so I'm gonna do some Christmas theme horror movies. I could do Thanksgiving theme horror movies, and also. Could my subscribers find Thanksgiving theme horror movies? Because the only one I can do is I plan not to I plan to watch it, but I don't want to watch Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving three. Yeah. Thanks Killing 3 is actually a independent film and they made a sequel called Thanks Killing 3. They the joke is they skip their own sequel. They skip Thanks Killing 2 to make skate skate Thanks Killing 3. I had to watch a Pilgrim again again. I will too because Pilgrim is into the dark and uh, also Puka. I am not joking. Puka is by far the strangest episode of Into the Dark. It's a horror movie, but it basically a episode. I am not joking. Also, it's on Hulu. I can actually watch Hulu. I have Hulu. I have Netflix. And yes, I know that combine the two star in December. Hulu and Disney Plus. But I don't know what they're thinking because I well, you guys have a good day. Bye.